This video tutorial is about using uh, Dreamweaver from the Creative Suite of version 3, which is also Dreamweaver 9. And um, Dreamweaver 9 has some pretty nice no-frills templates built into it. And I suggest people use them and edit out the CSS uh, style sheets that they provide for you. And you could use it, you could still customize it to fit your um, personal uh, likes of what you would like your website to look like. It's a good starting point for any newbie that wants to learn Dreamweaver. So with that said, let's get started. And for this tutorial, I'm going to be using a header image. Um, I pre-made an image for using with this video tutorial that um, I, I kind of have an idea of the size, but if you wanted to follow along with this tutorial, you would need to make a graphic heading. Um, this heading could be, a, be uh, anywhere between 780 and 799 pixels in width, and the height I would suggest anywhere between 115 and 200 pixels in height. Um, the reason why I suggest doing it this way is because I need to show you a few things when it comes to using graphics within um, a web page and editing the CSS code to have a fluid website. This is very popular right now. People are moving away from a table website and they're moving into fluid websites where your websites can expand to fit someone's viewing area and contract to fix someone's viewing area. The contraction size um, to, the, to today, I would worry about um, catering to 800 in width. Um, you could go down to, I believe it's the 680 or the 640, but I would um, probably, because you want to have images in your website, cater to the 800 and um, try not to go over the 1028 width because right now that's pretty much the standard. To get started, as I said, you're going to need a file which is an image, but where are we going to put that image? I'm going to quickly show you how I set up Dreamweaver to use a, uh, a folder for my website. And this is what I highly suggest everybody that does want to learn Dreamweaver is to learn how to set up a site first. Setting up a site within Dreamweaver will keep everything neat and clean and when you add an image um, to a, a page, you want that image path to be proper. If that image path is incorrect and you go and upload your all your work to the server, the host, you're going to have a real problem. You're going to have broken images and broken links. So setting up a site within Dreamweaver, which means making a folder and saving a file to that folder so Dreamweaver knows where that folder is. And you also want it to know where your images folder is. Now, as I said, I did set up a, 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 a site already for this video tutorial. And to get started, what you would need to do is you would need to go to Site and choose New Site you're going to see a window pop up where you have two tabs, Basic and Advanced. You know, you, depending on what you uh, prefer, you could look at both of them and see which one is more for you. But we're going to be using the Advanced tab. I personally find the Advanced tab just a little bit more easier. But <clears throat> that's because I have experience with uh, some of the features here, the categories. But for you, what you're going to do is you're going to name your website. You can name it whatever you want. Now, for me to go on to the next step, I really need to close this out. And I need to go to, and you keep yours open. I'm going to go to Manage Sites, go to the CSS site. And now you can see I have the same thing you'll have in front of you. And I named my site CSS. Now, what's really important is you need to decide where you want to make your site folder. If you are going to be uploading your website to a host um, where you're going to serve your website, then you could use your uh, current C drive and most likely where it says documents and settings, you know, your name and your, your whatever, wherever you want to put it. But if you are going to be actually installing a LAMP, a WAMP, or whatever, and you're going to be installing a server, my suggestion is, is that you use a secondary hard drive as your uh, website drive. Example, um, if you were to go and install another drive, it might come up as E. 
and I would use that as your website. But for this case, we're just assuming that you're going to be uploading a website to a server. So what you should do is go to your desktop on your computer and you are going to right click one time and choose new folder. Make a new folder and name that folder website with no spaces. Or you can name it whatever you want. It, it really doesn't matter. Once that website is, uh, that folder is done, <clears throat> what you need to do is go inside the folder and right click and make a subfolder called, we're going to make a new folder which is going to be the subfolder of the main folder, and you're going to name that new folder images, not image, but images, I-M-A-G-E-S. So when you're done on your desktop, you're going to have a new folder called my web or website. Inside that folder, you're going to have a folder called images. Once you have that set, come back to the Dreamweaver window, and if you have to open up everything again, you go to site, new site, get to the uh, advanced tab and in the site name type it whatever you want it just is something that you're going to need to know um, which website it is because if you end up having multiple site folders for different websites um, then it, it, it's easier to keep the things organized then where it says local folder you're going to click on the little um, folder icon here you're going to click on that and you're going to go to your desktop and you're going to lo locate the folder CSS site. Once it's in the select box, that means that's what the, the folder you've selected as your local folder, you're going to hit select. Now we need to know, um, well Dreamweaver needs to know where your default images folder is. So you're going to do the same thing again. Click on the folder icon, go to your CSS site folder, double click on the images folder so that it says select images and hit the select button. Now you'll see in each one of these uh, boxes here, you'll see the full path to your website and your images folder. You do not really need to worry about anything else here if for this video tutorial, um, but if you wanted to get deeper into really setting up um, your website to use a server on your website or you are going to be uh, using um, Dreamweaver to upload your website, what you would do is you want to actually put in your website address here. So if it would be www.michellespaintshop.com or www.yourwebsite.com. No, you do not type in yourwebsite.com. You actually put your domain name in there. Um, it, there's many settings here that you would like to go through. There's always the help button here that is very helpful. Dreamweaver has a manual that is a, 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 um, a college course in itself. So. Back over at the category area, you're just going to have to excuse me for talking fast because I know there's time restraints on um, the YouTube. But anyway, the only one you're going to really worry about here now for this tutorial is Spry. All right, It's asking you where do you want to put the Spry Assets folder. When you use Spry Assets in your website, it's, gonna, it's going to make some files. It might make some CSS files. It's going to make a JavaScript file. And what Dreamweaver is saying to you is, well, if you're going to use Spry's, where do you want us to put the Spry's? Do you want us to put it over in D drive, A drive? <clears throat> where do you want us to put it? Well, just the same thing as uh, before. Um, what you'll want to do is click on that folder and go to your desktop and locate your main folder, which was, in my case, it's CSS site. Yours might say website. Once that it says website or the name of your website folder in there, you hit select. Basically what this to just told Dreamweaver is, once you um, add a Spry menu to your website, it's going to save all the extra files to that folder. And this is very important that the structure and the paths to your website are all perfect. Okay, so you're just going to hit OK, and now everything is set up, and you're ready to actually get started now. I need to close a few things out here to get started. <clears throat> now, to get started on a new web page or a website, you're going to go to File, New, Blank 